We're gonna stain this mantle right here using this Minwax Espresso 273. We're just gonna move circles, getting all that stain in the nail holes, whatever scars are in the wood. You'll always see me going in circles first and then we'll come back for our final pass with the grain of the wood. But to just get it in there at first, I like to make sure it's distributed very evenly in all of the wood grain. So we're gonna keep making our way down, letting it absorb into the wood. We're gonna take this ordinary block of wood and make it extraordinary. to get all those edges. Now I use all kinds of stains, but lately I've been having really good luck with this min wax. Somehow it has just enough in their oil that kind of beautifies the wood that we don't get from some of the other wiping stains. So I'm gonna try to get all these edges all at once so I get no overlaps and no builds on either side. Set up. Now the nice thing about this stain is it actually gives you a little bit of play time with it. It won't sink right into the wood and sometimes, as you know, the bigger pieces we get, sometimes as soon as you touch it with the stain, it goes too dark, too fast. I have uh, noticed that with this Minwax, it gives you a little bit of playtime. And that's important for what we do. This is going to be one beautiful mantle when we get her all stained up. Okay, so now I put stain on all of it. Now I'm just going to do one, one direction white mark so I don't get any man-made smudges. That's what we're trying to avoid. And then with the same wet rag, I'll dry it out a little bit, get some of the excess off of there, and now I'll start making it a uh, finished product. So just real nice and easy, getting all my build up off and starting to wipe in the direction of the grain. This is going to get all the smudges out, the build ups, and you can hide all that as long as it's going within the grain of the wood. looking about the color tone I'm going for. Match the rest of the trim pack in this house. Now I'll come by with a dry rag to make sure and clean off any, any imperfections like this. That's just a build up of too much stain. So I'm just gonna keep going until all those are gone. So it's nice and consistent. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on this. I'm just using the weight of my hand. I'm not pushing on it hard. Just really softly going back and forth. Put no pressure on the rag for the final mark. That's looking pretty sweet. Share another picture when we get this up and installed with the lacquer.